with a quick look at um, injury prevention today. Um, essentially, injury prevent prevention or inj injury prevention strategies are it's a kind of r the wrong term. We can't prevent injuries from happening. We can perhaps help reduce re the, our chances of injury, but actually preventing them from happening is an impossible task, given the nature of sport or just life in general. Um, Adam Meekins had a, a really good post up um, not that long back about, you know, rather than injury prevention, calling it injury reduction. Um, and what he was talking about were um, a wee pyramid on it, like say, where it was at the bottom at the base of the pyramid was um, training load uh, as being the most important thing to manage in, in terms of helping reduce your, your chances of injury. Uh, so, you know, not doing anything too much too soon, be that intensity or volume, um, you know, just allowing yourself to adapt to the training stress that you're applying before increasing it in, in let's like, say, whatever way it is. Um, next up was say, strength training and ensuring, I mean, every athlete really should incorporate some form of strength training into their program. It just allows you to build capacity uh, to tolerate training load, um, be that, you know, strength training in the form of stuff that you're doing in the gym um, or, you know, more obvious stuff of, you know, repetitions or, you know, on, on the, in the road, um, on your bike, whatever. Um, <clears throat> then, you know, after that, we have movement skill. Um, movement skill being third, has much to do with the fact that the body is really, really actually quite robust and you don't have to be executing things perfectly because uh, you'll adapt to the stress that you're applying on it, you know, provided you don't overdo it, so exceed your ability to recover, your body will adapt. Um, now, do we want to maximise our movement skill? Of course we do. Um, generally speaking, the better you move, the more efficient you'll move, uh, the better performance you'll actually get. So it's not that we should be practising our movement skills, it definitely should be part of your programme. Just that in terms of the injury reduction side of things, it's not as important as strength training or, or training load. Um, after that, we're looking at flexibility. Now, with pretty much any sport, there isn't a great requirement for um, a massive range of movement through any of our joints. But, you know, maintaining good, healthy joint range of movement, which is essentially just normal range of movement, um, should provide you with plenty. Um, that can be achieved a number of ways. But generally speaking, you know, you put in some good quality weight training into the into your programme. Um, taking yourself through good full ranges of movement, you'll maintain good range of movement in your joints. Some other work outside of that is probably a good idea, but um, it's not like you have to go over the top and seeking to perform the splits. Um, outside of this, you know, things like taping, strapping can be useful, uh, perhaps as much as a psychological tool as anything else I mean, you know, if you've injured an ankle you strap it up before you go to play football you're then not thinking about it you feel that it's safe you've done something to help prevent it being hurt um, and then after that essentially it's nonsense any other stuff that goes on um, it's not really doing you anything uh, anyway I'm going to expand on this a bit in a blog post um, shortly so you'll be able to read a bit more about it then um, and hopefully you'll get a chance to see that. Cheers.